Well, I mean, it's probably now well known that uh, the new lodge had an unwanted bone fire in it, um, a so-called anti internment bone fire. Uh, and I mean, if anybody watching uh, either TV or social media between yesterday and last night will see, probably won't recognise the new lodge, so the new lodge is to know. What we've seen was some children, not all, and young people who were heavily involved in anti-social, anti-community behaviour, and some of them were involved in criminality as well. Um, the strategy body should have removed the bone want the bone far well before they did and the PS and I ended up moving out of the area and the bone fire, this so called anti term bone fire was lit at twelve o'clock. Unfortunately, prior to that being lit we had to move families from the tower blocks with the housing executive, with Belfast City Council and with social services the Belfast Trust into alternative accommodation. Now I'm old enough well maybe not old enough but certainly remember children having to get lifted out of their beds in the 70s. In fact, when we run interfaces, some children had to get lifted out of their beds and brought to safety. In 2019, it was a really sorry sight seeing those families pack their belongings in wee bags to move out to facilitate an unwanted bone fire. And for as far as we're concerned, that's going to be the end of that intimidation. Unfortunately, there's people in hospital, one of which I believe is critically ill as a result of stabbings last night. The residents this morning are absolutely furious, they're exhausted, they've been deprived of sleep for weeks now and they feel that their quality of life has really, really diminished. They're also afraid. The New Lodge is a proud community that has come through the conflict and then some. And I'm not, and others, residents, community groups, we are not going to stand idly by and let people, a small minority of people, claim the New Lodge for anti-social behaviour and criminality. We want to support the residents, we want to be good neighbours to each other um, and it's just really really disappointing to see what way it ended and now we're going to have some people literally scarred for life and others are going to have criminal records and that's the last thing we want in our community.